Hi everyone, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I have this box from Misfits, but I also have another box that's over there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's over there. So we have two boxes from Misfits today and we're gonna get them open. First, I wanted to explain something. I started this channel during the closures, the lockdowns at the beginning of this whole pandemic thing. I started doing these unboxings because it gave me something to do and I, I felt like it gave you guys something too. Now the skating content is really what people are tuning in for. So I'm toying with the idea, moving the unboxings to another channel. I feel like YouTube doesn't know what to do with me. <laughs> they like all the videos on a channel to sort of be similar so that they know who to recommend them to. I feel like some of the people that watch the skating videos get confused by the unboxings. I did originally hope that it would help inspire more figure skaters, adults, and standard track, as well as parents of skaters and other athletes to find healthy options for food that are very affordable, like Misfit, like the Butcher Box, like Imperfect. The algorithm doesn't seem to like that very much. What do you think? Should I move these unboxings to another channel, a separate channel, or should I keep them here? Leave me a comment down below. I want to know your opinion. I really do. Leave me a comment and let me know. Now with all that out of the way, there is a link in the description down below. So if you haven't tried Misfits, you can do that. You can click through that link. This is not sponsored. I paid for everything in this box. Let's get this box open and find out what's inside. The ever-present useless piece of cardboard. If you watch me, you know all about this. We've got right on top some baby spinach and it's smushed, guys. Ah, that useless piece of cardboard, this is why I call it that. It doesn't really do much about that sort of thing. Therefore, useless piece of cardboard. Some really nice looking asparagus. Wow, this is really nice, guys. Check that out. That's like amazing asparagus, getting it from one of these companies. We have one ice pack, and then we found our cold pack, which is sealed. We've got some milk. This is whole milk, and it is ultra pasteurized. It's organic, but ultra pasteurized. That's not really the best for you, but it does keep longer. That is a bonus. And then we've got our yogurts. I've been getting this every week, and you know what? It's a lifesaver. I love these. I love that they're not doing the tape anymore and they're doing elastic bands. Although, if you have cats, it won't even fit. If you have cats, you have to watch with the elastic bands. I don't know about you, but my cats love to pick them up and carry them around and chew on them. So you gotta be careful with cats and elastic bands. Am I right? And another ice pack in here. It's not really an excessive number of ice packs this time. We've got our eggs. Do we think they're in one piece? I don't know, we're gonna find out. These are good for a month and a half. I love that. They're perfect this time. That's nice. That's real nice. Remember that time I had that broken one that got egg white all over everything? That was nasty. So one box down. Now for box number two. This is making a sloshing noise. I wonder what's sloshing around in there. Hmm, don't know. One ice pack right on top with the cardboard. Hmm, it's still useless. We've got some of the Dave's English muffins. Colin loves these, he keeps telling me to get more, so I keep getting him more. Some really nice looking ginger. This is amazing compared to what Imperfect gives us. Really nice. We have a fennel. This looks good. Oh, we're losing some pieces, but it's okay. Scallions. Some of the Chosen Foods avocado oil spray. Some green beans. These are one pound of the French green beans, Harry Covert. Most of the other companies only give you eight ounces. So 
It's such a good deal when you get them from Misfits. And you know what? I did forget one thing in my housekeeping. I'm gonna go over my entire receipt with you at the end of the video so that you know what everything in here cost me. We've got some salad. This is wheat kale salad mix. And we finally got some romaine hearts. This has been challenging to get. I don't know why. I think it's been three weeks since I've had it because no one, Imperfect doesn't have it, From Bucks Direct didn't have it, and Misfits kept running out. Finally got some. Some spring mix. And this is a little smush too. Snow peas. These are great because they last a really, really long time. And everything in here is all organic. I know that you can get some conventional items now, produce-wise, from Misfits. You didn't used to be able to do that. It used to be only organic, but now they're mixing in conventional. I stick to the organic produce. I do get some things that aren't organic, like this chosen food, avocado oil. It's not organic, but it is expeller pressed. So it's the next best thing. And some celery. And this is some good looking celery. Nice, I'm happy with that. Leeks. I love leeks. I can make potato leek soup. Now that it's spring, and I do have a ton of potatoes. Not in here, but over in my potato box. Do you have a potato box like I do? <laughs> Let me know. And some of the Asian chopped salad mix. Some red onions. Two red onions. That's what's sloshing around in here. Ginger beer. There's no artificial sweetener or, or anything in here. That's why we get this stuff because we don't want the artificial sweeteners. I was actually having a conversation yesterday with my massage therapist. She was telling me how she loves Diet Coke. I said, well, I like it too, but you know what I do? It's been years since I had Diet Coke. Literally, at least four years since I've had Diet Coke. I think I might've had it when I still worked in an office at like a company party or something. Now I just keep stuff like this around the house and it has sugar in it. It hits the spot when you're looking for something refreshing and a little sweet. It's just kind of a pain that each of these is wrapped individually. You probably don't want to watch me unwrapping each one. But I want to make sure I got what I ordered. And they did a nice job at wrapping this, but there has to be a better way. Okay, so we have eight, eight of these. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like. And then I'm gonna go over my receipt with you. Here is everything that's in the sink. And then over here we have the salad and the eggs. And over here we have the leaning tower of yogurt and the milk and the avocado oil and the ginger beers. Let's find that receipt. The green beans were $4.29 for a pound. And those are the French green beans. The celery was $2.29. The scallions were $1.39. And again, all organic. The spinach was $3.29. The romaine was $4.29. The asparagus was $4.59. The snow peas were $3.59. The spring mix was $2.99. These prices are amazing. I went to Food Town. I had to. Colin had a tooth pulled and he couldn't eat any solid food. We didn't know this was gonna happen when he went to the dentist. He came back and said, I'm on a soft food diet for four days. So I had to run to get him stuff that he could eat that was on this list of soft food. I spent $170 on cream of wheat, oatmeal, the Irish oatmeal, Rice Krispies, because you can soak those in milk and make them mushy, uh, grits, instant grits, because he can't cook. Instant Lipton soup, again, he can't cook. <laughs> this was for when I wasn't home during the day so he could make himself something to eat. Campbell's soups, bananas, some frozen fruit for smoothies, which he had to eat with a spoon because he couldn't have a straw. Some ice cream, ice pops. What else did I get? I think that might've been it. It was $170. I was appalled. The only other time I went to the grocery store in the last couple months was Trader Joe's. I had 
more stuff from Trader Joe's than I had gotten from Food Town. I only spent $120. Grocery store prices are pretty outrageous right now. So these prices are incredible. The leeks were $4.29, the kale chopped salad $4.49, the Asian chopped salad $4.49, the ginger was 79 cents, the fennel was $2.99, the English muffins $4.79, the eggs were $2.99 for organic eggs. Guys, they're normally like five, six, seven, eight dollars. The whole milk was $2.49 and it's for a quart. Oh, I did get him milk too, and that was like $6.50 for milk, organic milk. It hurts. Oh, and I got him some peach yogurt because he won't eat this yogurt, unfortunately. This yogurt, I got 10 of them for $19.95. I did not get, I was supposed to get grass-fed tenderloin, two of them, for $11.98, but I don't see that here. I'm gonna double check though. Nope, definitely don't have that. So that's a little disappointing. It was supposed to be two five-ounce grass-fed beef tenderloin for $1.98, $1.98. Yeah, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? $11.98. So I'm gonna tell Misfits about that so I get a credit. That would have been a good price had I gotten it. The avocado oil spray, $3.99. The ginger beer were eight for $5.98. That's good. And the red onions were $1.99. My subtotal was $97.93. Shipping's gone up a little bit. It's now $6.99. I didn't have any credits. I think I've maxed out my credits. So my total, my grand total, was $104.92. And Misfit says that's a savings of $30.53. What do you think? I think this is a tremendous savings. It really is a better way to get your groceries. I don't have to go to the store. I don't have to try to find the organic things at the store. And I don't have to pay an outrageous amount of money for really inferior products like what I did the other day at Food Town. I love Misfits. It's a great value. And right now with the way pricing is of everything, you can't beat this. If you have a different opinion, leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you like my unboxings, maybe I'll keep them on this channel. Maybe I'll start a new channel. I'm not sure yet. Leave me a comment about that too. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with somebody else, post it to your social media too. I do post videos every week. I may or may not continue to do unboxings on this channel, but for now, I totally am because this video is here. So remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that you never miss a video. This is Amy. Thank you for watching. Happy organic eating. I will see you real soon. Bye.